Well, this is what it's all about here in the Maldives. You could say messing about on the water in a speedboat like this, which is available for hire to take you off to a reef for a bit of snorkeling, or maybe a tour around your island resort. And talking of island resorts, the one we're at is typical of the many island resorts in the Maldives, of which there are over 100 island resorts, which are sort of governed and sanctioned by the government. And this is evident by the fact that there are only 100 resort islands amongst the 1,192 islands in the Republic of the Maldives, with most looking just like this one. Well, this is a great way of getting around the island, having your own speedboat, which they're letting me actually uh, steer. And you've got to be very careful because the water is quite shallow in places as we're in the inner reef of the island. And looking beyond, you can see the waves breaking. That's the uh, edge of the reef and the Indian Ocean on the other side rolling in with the waves crashing over. Something is there, I've got to be careful, keep my eyes peeled. The atolls, of which there are 26, are ring-shaped coral reefs and these circle a lagoon, providing protection to the island. While we're doing our tour of the island continues on the right, these magnificent uh, water bungalows. Each one has got its own little dip pool as well and you can see the stairs access into the ocean here very shallow water, a bit of coral, a lot of fish, and sometimes the current's a bit strong, so there is a safety rope over there in case you do get caught up with the current. So a lot of safety aspects are really considered here at this resort to make your stay enjoyable and safe. Next up, it's time to go underwater. That's after a spot of swinging relaxation. Well, with the music there of uh, Coldplay and Paradise, I have certainly found my paradise here in the heart of the Indian Ocean. Rocking back and forth, this is perhaps one of the finest swings in the entire world. From swinging above water to diving below, and here at the well-equipped Tart Exotica Dive Centre, you'll find all the gear. For novices through to season experts for both snorkeling and diving. Our exploration of the Maldives continues now. We're going underwater, some key essential items for snorkeling. Fins, of course, mask and snorkel. Toothpaste, you may say, what's that for? Well, the idea is you spread it on the lens of your face mask and it will give you clear visibility. Suntan lotion, we're very close to the equator, means the sun is very strong, so something like factor 50 all over your body, but don't put it around your eyes because you won't get a good seal with a mask and snorkel. And finally, a t-shirt to protect your back from the intense sunlight. So with everything in place, let's go underwater. On a day like this, perfect. Um, loads of stuff, the coral itself is going to be really beautiful and lots of reef fish as well, groups of snapper, trigger fish, parrot fish, all sorts living in amongst the reef, so definitely a lot to see. The underwater experience with so much to see is simply stunning. Shoals and shoals of fish, groupers nibbling around the coral, and in water with such excellent visibility, one just had to dive down and down and down. The yellow ones with the stripes, uh, this is snapper, it's blue lined snapper. Um, we get lots of them living in big groups here in the Maldives. Um, they like to be nice and close to the coral and they live in the group for, for protection as well. And for us humans, no protection needed in such warm water, no wetsuit required just swimming trunks and a t-shirt. And whilst the fish life below was plentiful and colourful, so was the stunning views of a neighbouring island, seen whilst bobbing on the surface of the Indian Ocean.
And for me, it's yet another change of clothes as we get ready to leave the beautiful surroundings of the Taj Exotica. And we're off island hopping across the blue waters of the Indian Ocean to another island resort. This time a resort operated by Dubai-based Jumeirah Group. It's the Jumeirah Bitter Valley. And there in part three of Travel Wise, I'll be talking to an industry expert about the tourism industry here in the Maldives. Thank you.